Hey everyone, it's Megan with ClubRubyDesigners.com. So excited to share this card with you today. I think it's going to be adorable. It's going to be a window card, a cutout window card. I'm going to use my Martha Stewart Circle Cutter, and we're going to do it so that it says Be Happy. This is one of the adorable punch-outs included in the kit. Love them. Love them. And I cut a piece of the um, solid cardstock. This is the creamy cardstock that's included in the kit. I cut it to 8.5 inches by 5.5 inches and fold it in half. So we have an A2 size portrait side fold card. Okay, so that's what we're going to use. And then I also have this sheet of um, orange paper that we're going to use as well. I'm going to use this for the front of the card, for as part of the card front, and I'm going to cut this down. Let's start at the four inch mark. So we're going to do four inches by five and a quarter inches. And I want these stripes. So we can do it this way, five and one quarter inches here. Okay, now this is going to go right here. Blends, colors blend really well, tone on tone kind of effect happening. Love it, and then I love this. But let's go ahead and create the window. First thing I need to do is measure my butterfly. So let me grab my ruler. Or you know what, I'll just grab my paper trimmer here. I just need to measure from end to end. Two, let's do two and a half inches for the circle. So help be sure to fit in there, okay? So we're gonna start with our card front, okay? And we're gonna measure out where we want this to go first. And we're gonna use a circle cutter. I'm just gonna grab a nasty Cricut cutting mat for this, but you can use anything. We'll put this down. Sort of decide where we want this B again. I'm going to put them here. Just kind of visualize, take a good look. So we're just going to lift him up, make a little circle there close to the center. Now, I want this to be two and a half inches around, circular. Oh, you know what? I'm actually going to do it two, if I wanted to do two and a half, is it was the size that he needed. Let's make it two and five eight. No, I want it. I want it bigger than, not smaller than. So two and a half inches is the size I actually need. I'm going to go to two and five eighths for the actual size of this thing. So um, circle where I where I marked is going to go right over this cross uh, crosshair thing there, and that is going to be where the center that I want this to cut is. So that cross is the center. Let's make sure this fits first. All the way around. Yeah, this works great. So this is exactly what I want. This 2 and 5 eighths. So I'm going to just hold this down firmly. Stick it in my 2 and 5 eighths mark. And I'm just going to go right around. Okay. A little snag, but it should be a pretty clean cut. Once you pull it up. Yep, you can just sort of clean that up a little bit. Brilliant. You can put that circle aside and use it for something else, even though there's a little boogie on there. All right, now what I'm going to do, place my card down. I'm going to place my... Make sure it's straight, actually. I have it straight on my cutting mat. I don't know if it's really going to make that much of a difference, but I'm being a little anal. I want it to look cute. So this is going to go here. Alright. Bug is going to fit in here. Or B, rather. Right there. So this is our two. This is where our two and a half inches is going to come in. Alright, we're going to glue this down. I'm going to glue it down, just to be sure. I'm a little nervous. I don't trust my own math. So down. And I don't trust my own eyeballs either. <laughs> Not for something like this. I'm generally an eyeballer, but certain things I want to be a little better than 
normal. Okay, so I'm going to go to my two and a half inch mark. And what I'm going to do is, this is, looks pretty centered to me. Here's the two and a half inch mark. I'm just going to follow this around and make sure that it really seems like it's following it evenly. And it's not, so I want to shift a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty even. So just go right in and around. Boom. Done. I don't know if that cut all the way through because I didn't press very hard, but I think it's in. There. All right, so there is how my window card is going to work for this. All right. Okay, now our B is going to go right inside of there. I'm just going to give him a little bit of his own life and his own personality by bending his cute little flapping wings. <laughs> I'm going to bend them a little bit. So just kind of bend them on the, on his seam, give him a little life. He could almost hug you. So cute. Love this guy. Absolutely adorable. Close my card. I'm going to put him in using pop dots. I've got to use pop dots or dimensional foam. And I'm just going to use a strip of that. Make sure my crease is good and tight. So there is the pop up part of the card. How cute is he? Inside, now I'm going to grab a brown or black marker or gel pen. Let's see, we'll use the brown. You could use black. And I'm going to just do some dash lines, curly dash lines underneath here. Boom, done. Okay, how cute. I'm going to go around this outer edge and do some brown dash lines as well. Now, I'm not usually a pun kind of girl when it comes to cards, but for this one, I'm going to make the exception. Have to do it. I'm going to do be happy, B-E-E. -E. Um, yeah, not normally something I would do, got to be honest. But I'm going to do it anyway. And we're going to use the um, cute stickers that were included, the um, alpha stickers that are included in your August kit. I can't believe it's August already. It just seems impossible that it's already August. All right, so how cute is this card coming together? We could even put some buttons on him. So I'm going to start with the word happy, and I'm going to use the... Um, lighter colors. Let's see. We're going to start with the center P. So there's two P's in happy. H-A-P-P-Y, right? Yeah. So we're going to we're gonna have to do this every other letter, which is going to be okay, I think. We're going to have to do both colors because there's not two green P's. There's two teal P's, but there's not two green ones. So we're going to do it every other so you guys can follow along at home. Start there. Work out. Let's use a blue A H A Sometimes you gotta spell things when you're kind of working from center of the word out you gotta like spell them several times in your head so that you don't misspell it putting it on here and I've done that before you've all watched me <laughs> okay H A P P do the word B above it. And you know what? I just grabbed the B first, but I need to grab the E's first because they're not going to line up exactly the same. Let's do the middle E, which is going to be the green one. So we can do this every other thing pretty well. Eutimus B. You could save this B for Valentine's Day, do a B mine, you can, I, well, okay, I'm getting, I'm getting really cheesy corny with the, uh, with the puns here, but they are cute. It is adorable. It does work. Okay, be happy. White gel pen, you guys have it in your kit. 
You don't have to go searching for one. Grab that kit. Okay, be happy, be happy, be happy. I feel like I wanna add a button or two. I just feel like doing it. Definitely don't have to. I don't know if I if it's gonna work out so well. We're gonna try it though. We're gonna give it a whirl. See what we wanna do. Do we want a button? Nope, I don't. I think that's good, just like that. So there is your Be Happy card using the August kit. Hope you guys love it. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!